You know what? I gotta say, this is a whole new way to play this game. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Apollo, and welcome to my Let's Play video featuring on Slam City Oracle. So, Slam City Oracle is a game designed by Jane Friedhoff. According to the Game for Change, this game is released in September 1st, 2015. And this game has a fairly simple goal, to smash more things so you can reach a higher score. So, without further ado, let's give it a shot. Okay, so we are in the game right now. So as you can see, two characters are spawned in the middle of the street and they are surrounded by all kinds of buildings and cars. Okay, now, so just let me find out what I can do. Okay, so as you can see now, they can really bouncing really high. Um, to be honest, I really like the special effects that objects were throwing and falling. You know, like shooting stars. But I would say the game engine they're using is a little bit questionable. Because sometimes it gets me a little bit confused about that when can I jump higher and when I can't. But in general speaking, the objects and the characters in the game is responding really fast. So that's the point where I'm satisfied. You know, considering the size and the, the mechanics of the game, I would say that the performance of the game is pretty good right now. And, you know, by zooming in and out of the screen, when you're jumping from a higher position, sometimes you feel that feel like your stomach is in the air. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, and uh, there's another thing worth to mention in this game is that actually you have like many many achievements for you to earn and unless you are super good about it you gotta play multiple times to earn them all just like I did so this is pretty much the overall of the game and you may want to say that this is just a simple game with some simple ideas well actually this game is fighting against stereotypes on female on the article of Kotaku, he said that as a woman, you grow up with all these weird messages about your body and your presence in the world. As you can see, both characters in this game are females. Like most of other games have at least one male main character. And they're just wearing normal clothes. And not even to mention their skin colors. In my opinion, one is indicating African-American characters without doubt, and another one, since it's more close to a bright yellow, so I take a guess of Asians or Latinos. Both are really rare to have in nowadays games, well, most of the main female characters are white people. So I believe this is a call on racial and gender equality. Also, this game did a good job on generating empathies. For females who have too much strains and the regulations throughout their life, this game could be a good place for them to release their pressures. In here, you don't have to listen to no one. You can just smash things you want. Also, as a personal opinion, I don't think the game is all about destroying the world. As you may noticed, Every object in this game were not like completely destroyed. They're just like sitting here and wait to be rearranged. And this could be my own MC as a male player who have played this game. I believe they don't want to fight against the whole world and they just want to find themselves a place that the females are no longer discriminated. Okay, so this is pretty much everything. I'm Abolo and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.